there's my water barrel. It really doesn't take long for it to fill up in a rain like this. I'm going to get wet, but I'm going to see if I can get up a little closer to it. There you go. And when it does fill up, then the excess flows out into an overflow. I'll walk around to the side and let you get a look at that. Here's a view of the barrel from the side. And like I say, when it fills up, the excess runs out into that black tube on the back of the barrel. That's the overflow. And then it goes underground for about 15 feet and comes up in this uh, rocky stream bed. It's an artificial stream bed that just carries the overflow water. And it flows downhill. There's my uh, temporary bridge or makeshift bridge until I get a real bridge built. But it runs downhill and around the bend. I'll walk down there and let you get a look. So let's see if it's full down there. Okay, there's a look back up the hill toward the house and the barrel. And there's the bridge. This dry stream bed is not dry today because it's flowing pretty well. There's a little lull in the rain right now, so I decided to try to take this video. But the water runs downhill and around the bend, and right over into this little basin, I planted a cypress tree and some reeds, and it collects right there and then slowly soaks into the ground. Well, the thunderstorm has stopped. It sure didn't take long to fill up the barrel. And now we can put some of that stored water to use. This is a Spruce Creek rain saver. It stores 54 gallons of water. Now the spigot has two places where you can attach it. One is in a high position. You're not, you can't take advantage of all 54 gallons if you put it up here, but you can fill up a watering can out of it. The other position is down here, and if you put the spigot there, then you would attach a hose and you could use all 54 gallons. Let's fill the uh, watering can up and we'll water a few plants while I make a video. The barrel is made out of recycled plastics. We'll let that can fill up and then I'll cut it off and show you some other features of the barrel. We've had this barrel probably two years, maybe three years. And we've gotten a lot of use out of it. We've really enjoyed it. Okay, that's good enough. All right, let's look up top at some of these features. The top has a basin right here. When the water comes out of the uh, gutter, it pools up in this basin before it runs into this uh, drain right here and goes into the barrel. There's an aluminum screen over that drain. In fact, there's two screens there. And that keeps the trash from going down in the barrel. Now I mentioned the um, overflow and there's the overflow right there. When the barrel fills up, then the water comes out and down the overflow and goes underground. All right. Let's take the watering can and go water a plant or two. These are some Confederate jasmine and also some kiwi fruit that I'm, we're training to grow up onto an arbor. But I think uh, rainwater is better quality, better for the plants than pulling water out of, out of the ground. And also when you pull water out of the ground through a well, like we have, it, uh, it's more like mining a natural resource, whereas using rainwater is a renewable resource. Also saves on electricity, because we don't have to run the well. The 54 gallons tends to last from, from uh, shower to shower throughout the summer. All right, y'all take care.